power supply network at Delhi Metro stations. Delhi Metro is a rapid transit system serving Delhi and NCR. In a transit system, power supply is required for train operations as well as for different passenger facilities at metro stations like lifts, escalators, illumination, etc. The power supply network of a metro station is entirely different from power supply of train operation. Requirement of electrical power supply is different for different utilities, not only in terms of load but also in terms of availability of backup. Power supply to utilities can be classified into three categories normal, essential, and UPS. Power supply requirement for some utilities like lift and fire protection are essential and hence for them power backup of diesel generator set is made available. Certain utilities like fire detection and signage requires an uninterrupted power. The same is made available through battery supported UPS. Each metro station whether elevated or underground is provided with two power supplies at 33 kV. This power supply received at 33 kV is stepped down to 415 V at station through auxiliary transformers and supplied to main distribution board or MDB which is installed in a room called auxiliary substation or ASS. Further, distribution of electricity at 415 V and below is called low voltage power supply system. Different low voltage power supply distribution scheme is followed by DMRC in elevated and underground stations. This is mainly because the quantum of electrical loads in elevated stations are considerably less in comparison to underground stations as many systems like environmental control system and tunnel ventilation system are present only in underground stations. Elevated stations are provided with one ASS and one main distribution board which distributes power to all the utilities in the entire station. Underground stations are divided into two halves as the quantum of electrical loads is more. Each half is provided with an auxiliary substation housing an auxiliary transformer and a main distribution board. Each ASS distributes power to utilities in its respective half. In case of failure of both sources of 33 kV power supply, essential and critical loads are provided backup supply using diesel generator sets. In addition, critical loads are also having backup of battery bagged UPS. Now let's briefly discuss about backup equipments used in Delhi Metro. First is diesel generator set. Diesel generator sets are provided at station to meet the requirement of essential loads like lifts, fire pumps, water supply pumps, battery charger for PSI equipments and tunnel ventilation system etc. They are designed to operate automatically in case of failure of grid supply so that essential power supply is available within a short span not exceeding 30 seconds. Now let's talk about UPS and batteries. Uninterruptible power source or UPS are provided to impart uninterrupted power supply to the emergency equipment that is security systems, some percentage of lighting, fire detection system, control supply of important systems and signage etc. Let's see the different electrical loads at a metro station and their requirements of different power supply. The most essential part of power supply is signaling system which receives uninterrupted power supply from station. Likewise, the other electronic equipments that is passenger information display system, fare collection gates, ticket vending machines, clocks and computers etc also receives uninterrupted power supply. While travelling in a lift, in an unlikely event of power supply failure, it is desired that during the time of interruption, the lights, fans, intercom and control system should function. Therefore, lifts are provided with uninterrupted power supply. 
In addition to uninterrupted power supply and in case of power supply breakdown, it is also required that the lift should complete its travel to the next landing in order to avoid any trapping and hence the lifts are provided with essential power supply. Illumination at a station is divided into two categories of load. 75% of lighting is given normal supply from grid, whereas 25% of lighting is given uninterrupted power supply. Similarly, power sockets at a station are divided into two categories of load. Power sockets for general use like fans, hand dryer, etc. are provided normal supply whereas power sockets for critical applications like security systems, various PCs in the station control room, etc. are provided with uninterrupted power supply. The cost of electricity is gradually increasing and in order to ensure optimization of the operational cost at metro stations, DMRC has set up a comprehensive energy policy and have taken several measures to ensure its implementation. Hope this video was useful for the viewers. Thanks for watching.